Hey YouTube, back again with another video. After reading this article from Consumer Reports, I wanted to squash some of the claims that Keith Barry made in this article. First, as you can see by the title, he claims that it requires tons of driver intervention. If you've seen any of my videos showing Navigate on Autopilot, you can easily see that there is virtually no input required by the driver during Navigate on Autopilot. As you can see there, it just did a lane change from the left lane into this right lane. Only thing required of me as a driver is Tesla requires that my hands are in the wheel. So I can either scroll the scroll wheels or give a little shimmy shake on the physical wheel before it initiates a lane change. Okay, the next thing I saw in this article that I completely disagree with is they're saying that the autopilot system actually cut off several drivers. I've never seen this or experienced it, and I actually feel like Tesla's system is more conservative and actually better than human drivers at being cautious of the cars around it and changing lanes and not cutting any cars off. Here's a great example in this clip. Let me slow it down for you. The car starts to make a lane change into the left lane and then realizes a car is fastly approaching behind it. So it gets back over to where it knows that it's safe. This is better than a human driver. Most humans don't have the situational awareness of 360 degrees knowing where all cars are around them 100% of the time, like this Tesla's autopilot system. Now you can see the car will not cut off this car or this motorcycle and it waits until this next car passes until it gets over into the left lane. This is showing you how patient the system is and how false consumer reports are claiming that Navigate on Autopilot will cut off drivers all of a sudden. That's just false. I've never seen that happen with the many miles that I've tested this feature. As you read later down in the article, they talk about the legal concerns about this Navigate on Autopilot because the car's passing other cars on the right. This is so absurd. There's a setting in Navigate on Autopilot, and if you tone down the lane changes out of Mad Max mode, then the car won't pass on the right-hand side. It'll just pass cars on the left-hand side. There's no mention of these settings at all in the article. If you don't want your car to pass other cars on the right-hand side, simply change the setting. There's no legal or safety issue here. Okay, I wanna show you guys just how well this Navigate on Autopilot system works. Here we are gonna exit onto a highway and we're gonna transition, as you can see here, from Autopilot to Navigate on Autopilot, seen by the single blue line. So we're on an on-ramp and it's asking me to put my hands on the wheel, which if you've seen my other videos, I always have a hand on the wheel and I'm ready to take over because this is not a feature complete, full self-driving car. Okay, so you can see here by the blue rectangle that we have upcoming lane change. So the car recognizes that there's an open spot, turns on the turn signal and makes a smooth lane change over, no issue, beautiful, well done. I wanted to point out this little error I got here. High curve detected, navigate on autopilot is limited. And so this is I think because of this curve in the road right here. Not a huge deal that didn't do anything. Just wanted to make you guys aware of that. So we got another upcoming lane change here. As you can see, it already sees the car, but it's in red right there. So let's rewind that. You can see the car coming up on our left-hand side from the center display. The car is in red. This is so safe. Me as a driver, I know the car is there. I see that the car sees the car is there. As soon as the lane is clear, the car is in front of us. Then the car makes a smooth lane transition into the left lane. This is incredible. This is better than a human driver. Most people don't even turn on their turn signals. I see it every day I'm on the road. Okay, as we enter the highway in here, I'm gonna get another notification saying upcoming lane change is coming. And so right about here, you can see the line is red, but then the car realizes that this blue car right there changed lanes so the red line went away and the car was able to transition into this other lane. Again, super safe. The autopilot system knows exactly where cars are all around it all the time. This is incredible. Here comes another lane change. First, the car will signal its intent, turn on the turn signal before it starts transitioning into the lane, make sure that the lane is clear, 
and then make the lane change. Most human drivers do not turn on their turn signal before they start moving if they use a turn signal at all. These claims by Consumer Reports are absolutely ridiculous. I hope you are all able to see from the examples that I showed you here just how great this Navigate on Autopilot and Autopilot in general is. Tesla is pushing the entire auto industry into a safer direction and you are definitely safer in a Tesla with Autopilot engaged. As I'm recording this video, I got a new update for my Model 3, so check out my channel for that video really soon. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.